We're bringing you complete coverage on infrastructure projects around the borderland. ABC 7 Sam Harrisimowitz is at the expansion for Pelicano Drive. But first, authorities on both sides of the border have chosen a place to build the new Summon Park Port of Entry. And ABC 7's Eddie Berto Perez joins us live with the details. Eddie. Good evening, Paul Stephanie. I'm here near the border wall where this bridge will be built, connecting both Ciudad Juarez and Salem Park. I want to show you here on my right side, you can see a portion of an APRA on the Juarez side of the border. And here in Salem Park, before that hill starts, is where the vehicle crossings will be. We spoke with officials in New Mexico about this new port of entry coming here to the border in a few years. Para crear un nuevo cruce fronterizo, exactamente en la zona de Anapra, Sunland Park. The cities of Juarez and Sunland Park signed this memo of understanding to define the new location of this bridge. It will be located here, at the very end of Anapra in Juarez, and next to the train tracks in Sunland Park, New Mexico. Va a ser específicamente para vehículos ligeros y peatones. Architect Mora said this bridge will be specifically for private vehicle and pedestrian crossings, but with the possibility of commercial crossings in the future. Juarez Mayor Cruz Perez Cuellar and Sunland Park Mayor Javier Perea renewed this commitment for the new border crossing. We also spoke with Jerry Pacheco with the Border Industrial Association in Santa Teresa to learn the impacts this bridge could have. We take the position that any new infrastructure like that on New Mexico's border with Mexico is a good thing. So we certainly support the creation sometime in the future of, of that infrastructure. President Pacheco also said installing a new port of entry takes several years to do. They support this new port of entry, but right now the modernization of the Santa Teresa Bridge is New Mexico's primary focus. Because the Santa Teresa port of entry uh, is allowing New Mexico to diversify its economy away from petroleum, away from government spending, away from tourism, this industrialization of the border region uh, is an important piece to diversify New Mexico's economy. And Paul Stephanie, Juarez and Sunland Park officials also mentioned that they've went through several steps in this process so far. Steps such as determining what kind of inspections this bridge will have on both sides of the border, traffic analysis, and speak to several, several government agencies on Mexico, the U.S., among others. Reporting live from Sunland Park with our New Mexico Mobile Newsroom, Heriberto Perez, ABC7. All right, Eddie, thank you.